Hey there, Tano. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today we're taking a look at the brand new primary weapon, the Ferox. Now, the Ferox is the long-awaited Corpus Spear Gun, utilizing a laser and a, an interesting tether mechanic similar to that of what the, uh, I believe it's the ice. It's either the Isolator or the Denial Bursas. I'm thinking it's the Denial Bursas that use it. No, wait, they're the ones who cancel your powers, so it would be the Isolator Bursa. As well as those weird-ass tether traps that you'll find in the Corpus Arcwing oh, tile sets. Angry. Hmm. But anyway, let's take a look at the base stats for it. Now, accuracy of 16.7, which we already know there's no way it's going to be 100% accurate, unless it's like a bow. A charge rate of 0.5, 30% critical chance base, a 2.5x critical multiplier, a fire rate of 1.33, a magazine of 10, which is already superior to the Javlox 6, noise alarming reload of 1.8, a base status chance of 10, 35 impact damage. 245 base puncture damage. What the hell is DE thinking with this? And 70 base slash damage. Now, as you can see, I've already got some basic necessities, serration, piercing caliber, and split chamber, which jack that puncture damage well over 2,000. So you already know this weapon's going to be absolutely amazing for Grenier. And then speed trigger just to increase that charge rate. Because I'd use Shred, but due to experiences using Shred on the Javlock, then 9 chances out of 10, if you go to throw this itself, you're going to throw it right through the damn floor, and then you're going to have to wait for the return mechanic to kick in. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno Army... Although, before I actually jump into mission, I'm going to equip somewhat of a better melee weapon. Oh, you know what? Nah, let's do the Galatine. Let's have some fun with this. Anyway, I'm going to leave it on friends only, and we will come through and do... a Grenier Exterminate. Now the weird thing with this is it's gonna... this weapon like the Oma is very, very, and even the Quaro armor is very, very metallic, so your choice of colors you're gonna have to be careful with to make it look good. Although, for her simple review here. purposes, no fashion frame is no concern. And crude and dangerous. But anyway, like that's the, the rate of fire. And that tether effect is actually consistent. You've been detected. And as you can see clearly, it actually does damage over time. Returned. It does still utilize that return mechanic, which is nice. Oh, shit. I missed. 
Let's find a nice little... It actually pulls them in and it's... It's harder for them to escape. But it's not impossible. Of course, with it being a laser, it basically already has punch through, apparently. Kinda cool, actually. Bullshit. Bullshit! And then, the Grenier and their fucking million mile accuracy, ri that shit really needs a damn nerf. I couldn't tell you how many times I've actually died in a mission because I was low health, and then I've just been taken out by a fucking Ricotta bullet that hit me in the damn head. No, Jeffrey. Doors are Fuck your alarms. Of course, hitting them with it does also hurt, and if my cat wouldn't have killed him, you would have seen a little closer that it does, that that tether does damage over time, though it's not much. Oh, I'm locked out. Okay. Okay. And I still can't hack for shit. Good to know. Let's get going. Watch yourself. Grenier are on the way. Ooh, he disintegrated. No, you stay away from that. No turrets. Those are not allowed. Fucking... Those are annoying as shit, because... As a player, if you're using the damn... Ogress... They don't... The rounds don't chase like that.
I don't remember inviting you to this party. Ah, shit, reloading. Okay. Oh, fuck you. That's it, just keep doing damage. The more damage you do to me, the slower you guys get. I do like how it disintegrates them though, so this, if modded correctly, could actually be a very good stealth weapon for those of you who are all about stealth gameplay. So, uh, either using Banshee for her passive or utilizing a Hush mod would actually be very beneficial to you just because then you can make this weapon completely silent okay ha the slow is to the point that it's even affecting their weapons ouch Let's override the security. Naughty naughty. <laughs> Still can't hack. Breach complete. We're free to proceed. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Of course, picking up, as you can see, picking it up does cancel the tether effect on any enemies who are tethered. Otherwise, it will proceed to last for the duration that it is out of your hand. Now the damage problem obviously would scale with your mods, although it seems like it's... I want to, I want to say that it's probably like a 5% damage total. Or it might even be a set value. That I am not sure. I would have to play with it a little bit and give you guys the exact uh, 411 on how that works. Messages in your inbox, operator. Uh, they are not as encrypted as. Woohoo! And there's the pacifism defect bronze trophy. Unfortunately, our clan could have. Well, I could have at least gotten the Ignis Wraith, but I'm like the only truly active member in my clan, and since we didn't have, and I didn't even bother cleaning out the roster since we didn't have a set day for when this was going to launch and then about the time that we actually got the set the uh, set time I was thinking it wasn't going to go out until at some point the following day so I was kind of just ah, screw it I'll do it when I get back from work but missed out okay whatever I'm sure now the as for the clans that have the monopoly on the blueprint I'm sure it's probably tradable due to that. So I, if it is, I'll pick it up that way and then do a review for you guys. If not, I'll just have to bust my ass to get it for whenever uh, it comes back. But that has been my in or that has been my on-the-spot review of the Ferox. If you liked this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay up to date with any new videos. Follow me on Twitter for any other news. 
If you would like to support this channel and its endeavors, check out the Patreon link in the description box below. As well as, go ahead and join me on Player.me. Now this was something that, though, this is a social media site for gamers by gamers that was actually introduced to me and a lot of other people on one of Daniel the Demon streams. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy it a lot, especially if any of you are already Twitch or YouTube streamers are, or are considering it. Anyway, until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.